In the beginning, there was a world not unlike our own, where the fabric of reality seemed as stable as the ground beneath our feet. The inhabitants of this world went about their lives, blissfully unaware of the fragile nature of their existence. They lived, loved and dreamed, never questioning the solidity of the world around them. But beneath the surface of this seemingly peaceful world, a darkness lurked. It was a presence that had always been there, waiting patiently for the right moment to emerge. As humanity's collective consciousness began to shift, as their existential dread grew more palpable, the darkness stirred. It started with small things, a flicker in the corner of one's eye, a whisper in the silence of the night. People began to question their sanity, wondering if their minds were playing tricks on them. But as the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, the occurrences became more frequent and more unsettling. Mirrors began to reflect distorted images, showing not the familiar faces of those who gazed into them, but twisted, nightmarish versions of themselves. The very air seemed to vibrate with an unnatural energy, as if the world itself was holding its breath in anticipation of something terrible. And then, one fateful day, the fractures in reality began to appear. They started as hairline cracks, barely noticeable to the naked eye. But as humanity's existential dread reached a fevered pitch, the cracks widened, revealing glimpses of a realm beyond human comprehension, a realm where the laws of nature held no sway and where madness reigned supreme. As the fractures in reality widened, a malevolent presence began to seep through the cracks. It was a cosmic horror, a sentient being of unfathomable power and insatiable hunger. Its very existence defied all laws of nature, all understanding of the universe as humanity knew it. Those unfortunate enough to gaze upon its incomprehensible form were driven to the brink of madness. Their minds, unable to process the sheer enormity of the being, began to unravel. They babbled incoherently, their eyes wide with terror as the realization of their own insignificance in the face of such cosmic horror consumed them. The being fed on this unraveling sanity, growing stronger with each mind it shattered. It reveled in the chaos it created, the destruction of all that humanity held dear. Reality itself began to warp and twist in its presence, as if bowing to the will of this malevolent entity. Streets that were once familiar now led to nowhere, or to places that should not exist. Buildings melted and reformed into impossible shapes, defying the laws of physics. The sky itself seemed to bleed, the stars rearranging themselves into patterns that drove those who looked upon them to the depths of despair. Humanity's collective existential dread had given birth to this nightmare, and now there was no escape. The cosmic horror had become a part of their reality, a manifestation of their deepest fears and the inescapable truth of their own insignificance in the grand scheme of the universe. As the cosmic horror's influence spread, the line between reality and nightmare blurred beyond recognition. People began to question their own existence, their very purpose in a world that had become a twisted caricature of itself. Some sought solace in denial, clinging desperately to the belief that this was all a terrible dream from which they would soon awaken. Others embraced the madness, their minds shattered beyond repair. They wandered the distorted landscapes, laughing hysterically at the cruel joke that existence had become. They became acolytes of the cosmic horror, reveling in the destruction and chaos it wrought. Those who tried to fight against the encroaching darkness found themselves outmatched and overwhelmed. The cosmic horror was not a being that could be reasoned with or defeated through conventional means. It was a force of nature, an embodiment of the very concept of existential dread. The world's leaders, scientists and philosophers alike struggled to comprehend the nature of the threat they faced. They searched for answers in ancient tomes and obscure texts, hoping to find some way to banish the cosmic horror back to the realm from which it came. But all their efforts were in vain, for the being's power was beyond anything they could imagine. The once vibrant world had become a shadow of itself, a twisted reflection of humanity's deepest fears and insecurities. The cosmic horror had consumed all that was good and pure, leaving only despair and madness in its wake. 
reality had ended and insanity had begun. In the midst of this unrelenting madness, a small group of individuals emerged, their minds somehow still intact despite the cosmic horror's influence. They were a beacon of hope in a world consumed by darkness, a last bastion of sanity in a sea of chaos and despair. These brave souls banded together, determined to find a way to push back against the malevolent entity that had so thoroughly consumed their world. They scoured the remnants of libraries and research facilities, searching for any scrap of knowledge that might help them in their fight. Through their tireless efforts, they began to uncover ancient secrets and long-forgotten lore. They discovered tales of entities similar to the cosmic horror that now plagued their world and of the brave few who had stood against them in ages past. These stories gave them hope, a glimmer of light in the all-consuming darkness. Armed with this knowledge, they set out to confront the cosmic horror directly. They knew that they were vastly outmatched in terms of power, but they hoped that their understanding of its nature would give them an advantage. They crafted weapons and tools imbued with ancient sigils and symbols designed to weaken the being's hold on reality. As they approached the heart of the distortion, where the cosmic horror's presence was strongest, they steeled themselves for the battle to come. They knew that they might not survive this confrontation, but they were determined to fight until their last breath. For in a world where reality had ended and insanity reigned supreme, what else was there left to do but stand against the darkness? The battle that followed was unlike anything the world had ever seen. The small group of survivors, armed with their ancient knowledge and imbued weapons, stood bravely against the cosmic horror. They fought with a ferocity born of desperation, their very sanity hanging in the balance. The cosmic horror, unused to facing such resistance, lashed out with all its malevolent power. Reality itself warped and twisted around them, the very fabric of existence straining under the weight of the titanic struggle. The survivors fought on, even as their numbers dwindled, their weapons and tools slowly crumbling under the onslaught of the being's power. In the end, it was not through force of arms that the survivors triumphed, but through a sudden startling realization. They understood in that moment that the cosmic horror was not a separate entity from themselves, but a manifestation of their own deepest fears and existential dread. It was a reflection of the darkness that lurked within the human psyche, given form and power by the collective unconscious. With this understanding came a new kind of weapon, one that the cosmic horror could not withstand. The survivors turned their own minds against the being, embracing the very dread and insanity that had given it form. They let go of their fears, their doubts, and their despair, and in doing so, they starved the cosmic horror of the very essence that sustained it. As the being began to weaken, the distortions in reality started to fade. The nightmare landscape slowly reverted to the familiar world they had once known, and the madness that had gripped humanity began to recede. The survivors stood amidst the ruins of their world, exhausted and scarred, but victorious. They had faced the darkness within themselves and emerged stronger for it, ready to rebuild a reality free from the influence of the cosmic horror.